In this video, let's see another type of matrix called as the upper triangular matrix. We have already seen in our previous videos many other types of matrices like row matrix, column matrix, square matrix, diagonal matrix, scalar matrix, identity matrix, null matrix and in the succession to all those types we have the eighth type of matrix called as the upper triangular matrix. Let's see what is the definition of this matrix and let's understand with the help of an example. A square matrix, so it is related to a square matrix in which all the entries, mind it the word all, all the entries below the main diagonal, all the entries below the diagonal, main diagonal means leading diagonal are 0. So whatever entries are below the diagonal, they are 0 in a triangular manner. That is why the name is upper triangular matrix. Let's see one definition based example and we'll understand it more interestingly. The example is of a matrix C. The matrix is basically a 3 by 3 matrix that I'll be drawing or making. There are some elements enlisted in the matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 elements should be there because it is 3 into 3, 9 number of elements for a 3 ordered square matrix. Now what will be the diagonal entries? The diagonal entries will be which are blackened. These will be the diagonal entries. And these diagonal entries are basically A11, A22, A33. Now suppose these diagonal entries are something as 5, 4, 2. And the elements above the diagonal. If this is the diagonal comprising of 5, 4, 2, the elements above the diagonal are this region, three elements and they are supposedly something 1, 0, 2. So my upper triangular matrix would be 1 wherein all the elements, wherein the diagonal is there, all the elements below this diagonal are 0. You see the elements below the diagonal are 0? So yes, it is upper triangular matrix. The elements above should not be 0. 1 can be 0, all should not be 0, right? So it is upper triangular matrix. Upper triangular matrix. And again, I'll be showing with the help of another example for those people who find it a bit confusing. I have again a matrix, say it is M. And this M matrix is a 2 by 2 matrix. It cannot be a 2 by 3 or 3 by 4 matrix because it has to be a square matrix. A 2 by 2 matrix and the elements are given to me as 5 and 4. These elements are for the diagonal. The element above the diagonal is what? The element above the diagonal is given to me as 8. This is the diagonal. Element above the diagonal is 8. Below the diagonal is 0. Since the element below the leading diagonal or the main diagonal in a square matrix is 0, it is what? It is upper triangular matrix. And now you have understood. Let's now write it in the form of a mathematical formulation that here we have Aij is equal to 0 when Aij is equal to 0 for the elements below the diagonal. How to write the elements below the diagonal? Observe one thing. Here what is the actual subscript notation of element 0? Here it is A21. Second row, first column, right? Check here. First 0. What becomes this? This is A21. Second row, first column. What about this element? It is A21. Third row, first column. What about this element and the notation? The notation is nothing but a, 3, 2. Now observe, 3 and 2, what is the relation? 3 is greater than 2, okay. Here, 3 and 1, 3 is greater than 1, okay. Here, 2 and 1, 2 is greater than 1, right. And what about here, 2 and 1, 2 is greater than 1. So that means always the first number is greater than the second, that means i is greater than j, and in these cases only, whenever i is greater than j, I will have my upper triangular matrix definition wherein aij would be 0. What about when i is less than j? Take any case. I have i less than j here. How? 
it is a 1 2 first row second column 1 is less than 2 yes so wherever my i is greater than j my aij is 0 and that tells me about the definition of upper triangular matrix if you have understood upper triangular matrix properly just similar to that just the reverse of that is lower triangular which we will be seeing in the next video